if you are early in the morning and watch the sunrise on the lake, even if none's in your bucket, the beer scenery will fill the space. When the barber goes down with tugging, this thrill compares to nothing. Yeah, this their life for loving, cause you're dealing with some fishermen. Good evening, good evening, good evening. How we doing, everybody? Professor Slabs here, and you just tuned into another episode of Slab Life Fishing. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Hopefully you guys ate well with the family and enjoyed all that good time. Hey, I'm back, and I've been going in my comments and my analytics, and I've been seeing a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a catchy, clean video, okay? Fortunately, I've been busy, ladies and gentlemen, but guess what? I'm able to go ahead and get a catch and cook done for you guys today. And guess what kind of fish is going to be? The infamous largemouth bass. Now, let me tell you something about largemouth bass, ladies and gentlemen. He is not something that I catch to eat majority of the time. I have eaten them before. They taste okay. It's just one thing I didn't like about largemouth bass meat. It tend to be very, very tender. I like my fish fried golden brown. If you fry that fish golden brown, it's tend to tear apart when you try to eat it. You will have to fry it a little harder, get it more of a darker brown. But I found out a way to eliminate all that. It's a recipe I want to show you guys that I do to every largemouth bass that I get. Okay? So, before we get into that, I want you guys to enjoy this clip that I got for you guys when I just went out fishing for some crappie, but end up doing the tango with a couple bass. Y'all enjoy this clip. I'll be right back with you guys. Slap life, baby. Oh, this is a big old bass, baby. Well, that starts off the morning just right, right there, ladies and gentlemen. First, cr oh man, look at this! Oh, wait, and he's barely hooked. Look at that hook already out. Now that starts off the day just right, right there. Out here doing some crappie fishing. First crappie trip of the winter. We out here early in the morning. We done found that's a nice little river system here in Arcadia, Florida. And uh, I just wanted to try it. I got my here with some live minnows, and we finna see what what we can bring out. Slide like baby, y'all. Excuse me, a drilling kind of rushing this morning from this beauty. I'm talking about it. Look what a football. Look at that. Now she's been feeding up for the winter time. Woo! Let me get a couple pictures. Oh, we got another bag. Figure out some here, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, look a little too big to lift up on this light line. But we're gonna try, huh? How about that? No, how about no? How about um okay, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get this pole out the way. I'm gonna grab my net, I'm gonna get my Gatorade out of it. Excuse me, babe. I'm gonna throw my net down there, and we finna do the biggity walk. Thank you. Oh, baby, baby. Stay right there. Stay right there. I got it. Bass number two, ladies and gentlemen. And another key. Ooh, look at the bellies on these bass in this river. Nice and black, too. And look what that hook at, y'all. Right in the old lip. I seen Professor Panic just then. Oh, what happens to the best of us? Look down this bank right here, baby. Show them what we fishing above right here. We got some steepness there, ladies and gentlemen. But did the professor work in mind? With the help of Mama Slabs. Thanks, baby. You're welcome. Give us some sugar. Wow. That's for you, baby. All right, ladies and gentlemen. How we doing? I hope you guys enjoy that clip 
of catching those two beautiful bass. Now, we have those two beautiful specimens right here, okay? Got them on the cutting board right here, and we getting ready to fillet them up, skin them, and show you guys the next step in this beautiful recipe that I want to show you guys. And while we on this recipe, this recipe is healthy, ladies and gentlemen. No grease today. Put up the deep fries, put up the grease. We going in the oven, okay? That's the only sneak peek I'm going to give you guys. But this is the two beautiful specimens I caught. And as you guys can see, I'm getting the knives all nice and sharpened, and I'm getting ready to go to work. I decided not to show you guys all the gruesome, nasty, disgusting guts and skin and all that type of things. So what I want you guys to do is take a small break, and I'll be right back with you guys with these fish fillet. Oh, don't think I'm going to have you guys waiting for nothing. I want you guys to enjoy this clip of the nice Big old fat crappie I did catch while I was out there, ladies and gentlemen. So you guys enjoy that and come right back. And we got fish to cook. Slap life, baby. It's a lifestyle. Believe that. Please, please, please. There's one, ladies and gentlemen. How about that for a slap? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Slabalicious. Black crappie here. And look at the girth on him. Now, that's a foe here. Go here. Now, y'all know where he going, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what we're using out here today slip bobbers some people call them live toughies I just call them live minnows ladies and gentlemen y'all seen the bass y'all seen the crappie now what y'all want y'all to do is stay tuned. We're gonna be back with some more of these speckly things. Slide light, like, baby. Fish on this right now. I think so. Yeah. Look at that one. Oh man, look at that one. Bluegill, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he out here hungry too. And it's my first time ever on this river system out here in Arcadia, ladies and gentlemen. And she telling me what she got to show the professor. Oh, well, y'all stay tuned. I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. You hear me? Huh, huh, hey, hey, hey. I'll be right back. I mean, as you can see, we got the bass all filleted out. You guys ain't got to see no guts. But next step, what I'm doing is I'm skinning them, taking them out the skin. As you can see, we want just a nice, beautiful fillet. Okay. So what I'm doing, for, this is for all you guys that do not have a fillet table with the pinch board. It's for you guys that's doing the traditional with your fingertips, like I'm doing. Just take your fingertips, take that knife, grab your skin, slide that knife right down the skin, just like so. Okay, and as you guys can see, Right off the skin, that bad skin, dispose of the skin, and now you're left with a beautiful fillet, okay? Debone it, move on to the next one, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to demonstrate for you guys on one more fillet. Fingertips down, knife, slide right on top of that skin. Get you a better grip, and start sliding. Just like that. Just like that. 
Another beautiful skin. As you guys can see. Dispose of the skin. Now, I know people debone their fillets different ways, but this is how I do mine. I just get right on top of that stomach cavity right there, and I just ride the bones. Down just like that. Come on this side. I flip it. Find my bones over here. Make me a slit. And come right back up. That's it. That's all your stomach cavities. Some people fry that. It is good eating. I have eaten stomach cavities on some fish. But we're going to dispose of it today. But as you guys can see, there is plenty of meat. But there is all the bones. All the bones is located there. And that's where your guts is at. That's your stomach cavity of the fish. I'm left with here a beautiful filet. No bones. No skin. Okay? Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. So what I want you guys to do is stay tuned. I'm going to skin this last fish. We're going to get over there. We're going to season them up. I'm going to show you guys the next step. And then we're going in the oven, ladies and gentlemen. Slap life, baby. Let's get it done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got our fish all filleted up. We got them skint. Now it's time for the next step. Let's get into the good part, ladies and gentlemen. Almost time to yum, 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 yum. Okay, here we go. Now, right here, what I have in front of me, I have two beautiful limes. I had already started squeezing, ladies and gentlemen, but I was like, I, I ain't show the people what I'm doing. So I had to stop. Okay, so what we got here is a bowl full of lime juice. All I'm doing, slicing the lime, like so, like she pretty. Squeezing that juice in there just like that. Okay. Okay. Guys, take a whiff of that. I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smells so good. Okay, we got a lime juice in here. Now, go get this in the trash. Excuse me. Okay. Now, next up, we got some Duke's real mayonnaise right here. Okay. Take that. Wipe the little lime guts I don't put on there. Get us a spoon. We're gonna put us a few scoops of mayonnaise straight into this lime juice, okay? All right, there should have one more scoop. Okay. Now, I'm gonna take my whisk and I'm gonna blend it. Now you guys are like, what is he doing? Trust me, ladies and gentlemen, just trust me. You don't want it too thick, but you want it nice and creamy almost. Okay. Nice and blended, as you guys can see. And it actually a little more. As you guys can see, it's nice and blended and creamy. Mayonnaise is soaked up into that lemon juice. Nice, almost looks like milk. Okay. So what we're gonna do is gonna sit this stuff to the side. Okay. Okay, 
back to the fridge. And I'll be right back with you guys on the next step. Slap life, baby! We got our cutting board already washed. Fillets laid out. We got our mayonnaise and lime all bended up. Now, what I'm getting ready to do here, got me some paper towel. I'm going to pat these fillets nice and dry. All right? Just like that. Flip them over. Pat them dry. Just like that. Okay. Now we got them nice and patted dry. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna season them up. Okay. Right here, what I have is some tones, rosemary, and garlic seasoning. And I have Florida's own. I'm a Florida boy, ladies and gentlemen. Florida's own Everglades all purpose seasoning. Recommend it, recommend it, recommend it. Okay? This is the original, okay? I'm going to give you guys a little bit of uh, 411. Everglades seasoning is a unique blend of imported herbs and spices that add a down home southern flavor to all your favorite foods. Everglades Original Seasonings doubles as, as a rub for all meats, including steaks, ribs, chicken, pork, and venison, and as a natural meat tenderizer. Sprinkle this flavor enhancer on potatoes, veggies, pastas, rice, grits, fish, eggs, anything you want to get. Compliments on. Slap life, baby! That's enough well said to me. Enough said, enough said. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle lightly over these guys. Just good old Everglades seasoning. Yeah. Yeah. Get on there like that, girl. Okay. Going back to that tones. Get a little bit of that tones, rosemary, and garlic on there. Just like that. And we don't season one side. We season two. Both sides. Come on now, Slavos. Y'all know this. Y'all know this. I'm pretty sure you guys know this. Same thing. Everglades. Tones. Rosemary garlic. Okay. That's what we're doing. Now. Last but not least, black pepper. Okay. A little black pepper over there. This is healthy, so we ain't doing no heavy salts or nothing like that. You guys can see. I'm gonna flip her over. Get the other side too. Look at how that rosemary and garlic just embeds down in that fillet. Do you guys see that? Oh man. You guys are smelling. Okay. Brush this little black pepper over top, just like that. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna massage, just like that. Give it like a quick little massage. Make sure those seasonings get down in that fillet. Okay. Just like that. Just like that. Now, what I'm gonna do is wash my hands real fast, ladies and gentlemen. And now I'll be right back with you guys. Towel these hands nicely. Okay. Oh, dispose in the trash can. Now, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take these fillets and they're gonna take a little dip. But before we do that, we gotta explain the next step. Okay, so we could just go on and do it, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. Get this stuff up here. I need to wash. Okay. We're gonna make room. 
What is this, ladies and gentlemen? I hear y'all asking already. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Vigo Bread Combs. Okay? That's what that is. Vigo Bread Combs. Now, here comes the messy part. What we're going to do, we're going to take these fillets, and we're going to take them down a dip in that lime, in that mayonnaise, ladies and gentlemen. Don't ask me why, just do it. Okay? I'm gonna put him in there. We're gonna do two at a time. Okay? Now, you guys know where we're going after this. We're gonna coat them beautifully. Now, I know we got a lot of double coaters out there, right? But. How I got you guys today, there will be no need for a double coat. Now, as you guys can see, look at that. Coat it beautifully one time. You guys can see, look at that. Now, what I'm gonna do with my clean hand, the married hand, bling, bling, bling. I'm gonna take uh -oh, some olive oil spray and I'm gonna go over a baking sheet with it, okay? So, put your little olive oil, spray the bottom of your full baking sheet, okay? And we're going to lay that filet right on that baking sheet, just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Okay? Now, same dirty hand. Grab your next filet. Take it on a dip. Nice little dip. Guys, I want you. I want. I want to introduce you guys to somebody. Why he violating? He's in violation right now. Oh, he done left. I was gonna introduce you guys to my new puppy, Tobias. Huh, here you go. Say hello, Tobias. Say hello. He wants to say hi to everybody. Okay, now get out of the kitchen. You know you're not allowed in there. So we're gonna take our last fillet. On a dip. Into these bread crumbs, okay? Now you guys can either get your hands and shake it up, shake the pan like that, or you can get in there and give it some love, like I like to do. I like to put my hands on it. I want to touch it and fill it. Yeah, make sure she bread it up just nicely. Yes, sir. Okay. Shake off your excess. Always shake off your excess. Same as that thing. We're going to lay that beautiful leg right on that cookie sheet. Just like so. Yes, Lord. Woo! Ain't that beautiful, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, it is. Now, what I want you guys to do while I go wash my hands and get my table cleaned off is stay tuned! And we getting ready to do the final step and we going to drop it in the oven. Slap like baby! It's a lifestyle. Y'all stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got them all nice and breaded up so beautifully with those bread crumbs. Seasoned up, filleted up, washed up. We finally to the final steps, ladies and gentlemen. That is just simply having some melted butter here. I got me a brush. Okay. I'm going to just brush these fillets now, just like that. That's it. Get a little butter across them. Okay, it's gonna help out with the crispiness. Okay, y'all don't ask me why, just do it. Just do it, ladies and gentlemen. Pat it down. We ain't brushing too much because you don't want to take your your breading off. You just want to basically just pat that butter on there, just like that, like you're patting him on the back, telling the fillet good job. Okay. No, I am not a chef. I just know how to cook for my family, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to take these fillets. Got my oven over here preheated at 400 degrees, okay? 400 degrees. I'm going to slap them in. Like so. I'll be right back with you guys in about 20, I'm going to say about 25 minutes. 
I'll be right back to you guys. It's going to be time to eat. I got me some red beans and rice right here, ladies and gentlemen, on the side. Woo! Can't wait. Slide like, baby! It's a lifestyle. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the best part. Mm, and it smells so good, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this bass out of the oven, and I'm going to show you guys. Golden brown, crispy on the edges. I like to do this while it's hot. Take my spatula and show you guys. These are Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. What I'm going to do is, I already got me a plate of red beans and rice right here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to lay that girl right next to that. Look at that. Look at that. Fresh out the river to my kitchen. Filet. Debone. Skin. Seasoned. Dipped in a lime mayonnaise bath. Yes, sir, buddy. Olive oil, breadcrumbs, crispy. Now, it's time to eat. Get me a fork. And a butter knife. In the Slab Life household, we say our prayers. Amen. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look how white and beautiful that meat is. Uh, see that? I want y'all to hear the crunch. Mmm. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when I tell you that it's absolutely delicious, not breaking apart, as you guys can see that line, which cooks your meat a little bit, draw that meat up, make it stay together, put it in the oven, let it get golden brown from those breadcrumbs and that mayonnaise, and oh my. A little bit of red beans and rice. Put the gravy on that. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't remember anything, I want you guys to remember this. If you have to ask, you are not living. And if you're not living, you're not fishing. Slide like baby, it's a lifestyle that will present and bring a lifetime of memories. It's a lifetime you can taste, smell, enjoy, love, and absolutely live. Till next time, ladies and gentlemen, I want you guys to stay blessed, stay fishing. Slide life, baby! Till next time, the professor is going to eat. Checking out. Slide life, baby. God bless y'all, and I love all y'all. And enjoy this recipe. And I want you guys to let me know if I got myself going here or something. I'm going to cut into this one more time and show you guys that beautiful flick on that fin. Yes, sir. Mm -mm -mm. See you guys next time. Slide like, baby.
If you are early in the morning and watch the sunrise on the lake, even if nothing's in your bucket, the beer scenery will be the space. When the barber goes down the target, this thrill could pass to nothing. Yeah, this that life for loving, cause you're dealing with some fishermen.